<coughs> Excuse me. You got a full belly. You got a full belly. Okay. Hey guys. How's it going? We're here to do some prank calls and I was thinking we could do some wholesome ones today, but unfortunately, every single time I've made one of those videos in the past, um, it's flopped. And people only like the toxic, <coughs> the toxic ideas, so I'm gonna try again. Uh, what's with the not fair comment? If you're watching this on YouTube later, welcome. And just so you guys know, I am putting a replay of every single stream on on YouTube now. So you can watch the streams after they do them, after I do them, and uh, fast forward through the, the boring parts. And uh, you know, what it's my most requested, my most requested feature, and now we have it. So please, Subscribe on YouTube. It's in my bio. After shows are making live? Nope. Every single TikTok stream. Oh. All of the main streams are are available on my YouTube now. It's just delayed by a month. So you can watch every single one. So yeah. I uh, I was thinking today we could do prank calls to people that need some cheering up. And then, you know, I'll start with a prank call and then I'll, I'll finish by actually doing something wholesome. And then the people that we, the people that we like the most, we can, we can all Venmo them at the same time. Uh, yeah, like I said, I've never had one of these prank prompts work. People only want to see the toxic stuff, but I, I still hope, I still keep the dream alive that one day I'll be able to sleep at night. My best friend just broke up with her girlfriend and needs cheering up. She's in med school too. Okay, why don't we, why don't we start with that? Uh, usually I'm doing these free calls through the Discord, but I'll do yours through TikTok. If you could just DM me, DM me on TikTok, Mr. Playful. There was this guy at the expo today, and he was just standing there, just like this guy, like a 50 year old guy, with a sign that said, free dad hugs. Thank you so much, Allie. And it was incredibly creepy. I don't know why I'm thinking of that right now, but. That was weird. Yeah. It's like he didn't even have, a, like, his kids with him, or like, it was really like one old guy by himself with a sign that said, free dad hugs. Really bad. Incredibly creepy. That being said, the expo was awesome. I met the voice actor of Princess Zelda and I met Jason Lee. I got autographs, I bought a bunch of stuff and And uh, it was great. Yes? Oh, nice. We're both wearing Bobby Hill shirts. Christy's wearing a Bobby Hill t-shirt as well. Okay, here is her number. Her name is Nicole. Okay, Mr. Playful, what? tell me a little bit about this person. We're doing our, fir our first wholesome prank call. This, this is honestly, I feel like, what I should be doing because I can make it funny and then end in a, in a better way. And we, you know, this is, I feel like this is what I should have viewers for. Unfortunately, I just, I don't know how to explain to people that this can be funny and good, but maybe if I do this and we finally get it to work and I get some clips going from this, because this whole, like, I don't know, being incredibly creepy and this is going to backfire one day. <laughs> I mean, I guess we're never going to be able to avoid that completely, but okay. Nicole, let's just try it. Let's try it. I got two phones. Let me, let me do it from this one. You could put a PG note. Hi, it was cool to meet you today. Oh, hey, Brooke. 
Hey, what's up? Yeah, I got recognized today and I signed her death note. And that was that was a huge moment for me, honestly. <laughs> it feels great to be recognized. I am nowhere close. Bother me. You guys see me in, in public. You're not bothering me. Come up and talk to me. And I really appreciate it. I actually got recognized on both days I went to Expo. So that was great. Shout out Brooke and Ryan. Okay, let's call this one. Leave your name, number, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye. Okay, that's not looking good. Yeah, Allie's been gifting people subs. Hi, so if you are uh, if you can't afford a sub and you, you see that you're subbed, we're going to make a Discord roll for you guys soon, as well as the emotes and the badge and the uh, sub-only chat. So thank thank Allie for that. Okay, guys, does anybody have somebody for, okay, Kate, Kate said, my mom would be the perfect person for your recent video. She's the sweetest person I've ever met. This would make her so happy. Her name is Candy and she works at a nursing home. Okay, this might have to be a call for Margaret. Please leave your message. Let's send a text. Hey, Candy. See right now, you guys could fast forward this. If you subscribe on YouTube, shout out the people that are, are fast forwarding right now on YouTube. I got another call. I got another text from uh, the Search of Scientology here in San Diego. Please leave your message for nine three seven nine one. Hold up. I just got a text that said, Hi, Alex. It's Jerry from Scientology. Please feel free to contact me. I don't think this person is actually from Scientology. I think this is somebody trolling me, but I can't resist. He said, don't hesitate to, to text. Church of Scientology in San Diego. May I help you? Oh, hey, is it, I'm looking for Jerry. Um, she's not available. Take your call right this minute. Jerry, May I help you? Jerry Green. Is this, actu is this actually the Church of Scientology? I thought this was like a scammer or something, but is this like the legit church? This is like the legit church. It, it is the church. It is the church. Okay, cool. So basically, somebody keeps texting me and they say, Hi, Alex. This is Jerry with the official Church of Scientology here in San Diego. We recently received numerous calls from this number. And then she, it's a she, did you say? Or a male Jerry? Uh, this is the, the Jerry I know is a female Jerry. Is a female Jerry, uh, Jerry Green. That's a female? No. Oh. No, it's not Jerry Green. Oh. Okay, because I don't know. Like if you might be getting scammed. Yeah, because they... Okay, okay. Uh, my Jerry would never say a thing like that. Oh, you're probably... Oh, maybe they're just pretending to be you. Because they keep texting me and going... Uh, and going... Oh, yeah, because this text is coming from an 828 number. And so maybe they're just pretending yeah, to be definitely. the Church of Scientology. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, a favorite ploy, but um, bear with us. 
Okay. All right. Well, how's it going at the Church of Scientology? Oh, we're having a great day today. Okay. How about okay. you? Oh, yeah, it was awesome. Where, where is 587? I don't recognize that area because I don't know where. Oh, I'm in Canada. I'm in Canada. Wait, is this San Diego? Oh, yeah, this is San Diego. Oh, California. nice. You guys got the Comic-Con, right? Oh, we, San Diego Comic-Con? Oh, you bet. Yes, we do. Yeah, oh, nice. You're welcome to come down stop by. I went to the, I we went to the expo. people last night. Oh, hell yeah. I went to the expo and it was the Calgary Expo this weekend. They actually had a, speaking oh, nice. of, speaking of Scientology, they had a Top Gun. They had a Top Gun booth with a F-18 simulator. <laughs> so pretty cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's cool. All right. Cool. Have a well, good day. Well, all right. Well, thank you for your call. You have a great day, sir. You too. Scientology is so nice. I don't, I don't even prank them anymore. They're too nice. Could you do that money thing for my for my daughter? Um, could you do that money thing? Okay, probably not a good a, a good starting point to do the money thing. That was kind of just as like a bonus, <laughs> you know. Like if, uh, and it flopped. I'm probably gonna private the video anyway. I'm telling you, I cannot do one wholesome thing that trends ever. It, I can only do. People are always like, "Why are you so toxic? Why do you do this? Why do you do that?" Not my fault. It's you. You guys only engage with toxic stuff. Um, you know how much I would like to be nice? Nobody wants to be mean. Don't hate the player. Okay. No, it's okay, Vicky. But you, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> the money thing. <laughs> Hi, Alex. Can you do the Walmart movie version of GameStop calls? Yeah, that would be funny. Thank you, Allie. Thank... There's two alleys, A-L-L-Y and A-L-I. Is that the same alley? Or are alleys just very generous fans? Christy, do we have pre-books? No, not till tomorrow. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to keep doing free calls for a bit. Somebody said, somebody texted me and said, hey, hon, do you think we could do the prank call on one of my... Okay, you guys got to give me all the info. Okay, let's hop over to the Discord. Uh, I don't know what people are going to want me to do today. I was doing this. I was doing the stalker stuff, and then I tr failed wholesome attempt. So I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll just go through the free section. Thanks for being here, guys. Please like the stream, and if you're watching on YouTube, welcome to the replay. Connor is my brother. He just turned thirty a couple days ago, and recently just had a baby. So he's tired all the time. Call and just give him a good laugh because he could use it. Okay, there you go. There's a whole, there's a wholesome one. Give him a good laugh. He had a baby. Baby boy. Who's going to be our first pickup of the day? Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is... Okay, let's send a text to this person. Hey... Connor. Hey, Connor. Hey, Connor. Important call about your baby. About your baby. I feel like that's pretty urgent. You should probably pick this up, right? Important call about your ba your baby. Okay, we we all we can all accept that the wholesome thing is not going to work, right? So it's it's back to pretending to be people stalkers. I guess I'll make another one of those. Message received. I just do what you guys your call has been need. That's that's how this works. I throw stuff out there. You guys make it so. Let's get rid of this video and accept our fate. Thank you, Lauren. Let's go. I love those hot air balloons. And I am up in the motherfucking clouds right now, looking down on all the peasants 
throwing money down and then immediately lowering my hot air balloon to get said floating money because I can't give money to the plebs. I have too much debt. Need to keep my money bills. But if I miss one and it floats down, it's your, it's yours to have, old lady in the park. It's Canadian money, so... Actually, no, it's not. These are US dollars. Fuck yeah, Lauren. Let's go. Who are these people? Who is Lauren? Sometimes I wonder, who are these people that send gifts? It's really just a mystery. And where... And why me? Why are they here? Why are they gifting me? Why aren't they gifting people that are battling? That's what they're supposed to be doing. That's what this app wants them to do, is to compete with their money. But for some reason, they're here. And how do I how do I get into a roast battle with that that sci psionic cytronic person? That would be fun. Okay, we're gonna do and we're gonna do a toxic video. I tried being nice. I tried being nice. Okay, and it didn't work. So we're getting we're going right back to toxicity. Here we go. Wait, what's let's what's even? I did the stalker thing. What's even more toxic than that? I'll pretend to be, oh my god, oh fuck, of course, I forgot about this, um, oh fuck, I need this phone, I might have to pause this for 10 seconds, guys, one second, pause, pause a lot, I'll be, I'll be back, I just want, the idea of the day is I'm gonna call homophobic guys and say that their number is on a bulletin board at a gay bathhouse, and then I'll, I'll call them from two different phones if they get triggered so that they actually think with different voices and they'll actually think that they're about to get hundreds of calls from various tops and bottoms and, you know. And I don't have to feel bad about that because they're the ones that are afraid of gay people, right? It's all about weaponizing identity po politics as a comedian. I feel like that's what people don't understand. It's like judo. You use it against society. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Yeah, I did. Hello? Accountable drivers. Hello? Accountable drivers. What's up? Hey, man. Did you have uh, feedback for a driver? Um, no. Not really. Oh, really? You guys called me like a day ago. No, I didn't. This is a road safety program. Did you call one of our bumper stickers? Nuh-uh. Yes, you fucking bitch. Why are you wasting my time? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry, whoa. That, that, you're right. That was an overreaction. What? Let's be chill vibes. Okay, let's relax. So who, who is this? <laughs> uh, what's your name? Morgan. That's uh, yeah, Cap. <laughs> what's your real name? Morgan Williams. Morgan Maddie Williams. No, no, no. Morg Morgan. No, Dago, Morgan. Morgan Maddie Williams. There's no, why were you so bar when I, when I first called? Boring. I'm bored. Okay, here, I gotta pause this. I'm gonna make my, my, uh, gay bathhouse video.
Okay. All right. It's time. Time to go to the next call. Oh, somebody was somebody was requesting uh oh my god. My fucking eye. Uh Somebody was requesting that I... I gotta get this out of my eye. One second. It's so dusty over here. Call Walmart and ask for fake movies. Okay, we've done it with video games. We are going to do this with movies. You guys can suggest embarrassing movie titles for me to do. And... Um, and I will, I will ask. Thank you for choosing Walmart Canada for a listing of store hours, locations, to shop online, or to view merchandise availability. Please visit our website at www.walmart.ca. Please choose from one of the following options. For pharmacy, press 1. For electronics, press 2. For food, press 3. For photo, press 4. Oh my god, my eyes drive me nuts today. Okay, guys, I'm going to be honest, Walmart don't pick up very much, so... But you're going to skip all of this. You're going to watch the YouTube replay you and skip. Walmart Canada for a listing of store hours, locations, to shop online, or to view merchandise availability, please visit our website at www.walmart.com. Okay, this might be a bust, guys. Can you hear me? What? Why don't you call Sunrise Records for that? Sunrise Records. Yeah, Thank you for okay, let's call Sunrise Records. Sunrise. Yeah, that's kind of like GameStop vibes, but for. They're all closed. Okay, I got one open in West Coast. Thank you for calling Sunrise Records. How may I help you? It's never funny with Indian people. They're too literal. They never, they, it, they won't get it. It won't be funny. Guarantee it. Uh, sunrise, is there any other ones? Vancouver Island. I'm just speaking from experience. I've tried over and over and over again. It's always a huge bummer. Uh, this I'll 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 do an impression of what it would be. Hey, do you have Bussy Pirates Eleven? Bussy Pirate? How do you spell? Bussy This actually sounds kinda of funny. I'm saying it out loud and I'm like, maybe this is funny. <laughs> but I've thought this before. I've been wrong so many times. <laughs> Call my wife. She's in the other room. Well, yeah, obviously it's funny when Doc Compton does it because he's trolling scammers. <laughs> we should call a grocery score. Okay. Okay, yeah. We're gonna... We're gonna try this. Hey, I just wanted to ask if you guys had some movie titles for some new releases. Sure. Okay, great. Let me just check my list here. Do you have like a, a database if I read the titles? You can, like, yeah, I'll search it up in the computer. They're all movies. They're movies, yeah. Yeah, I can look them up for you. 
Oh, fantastic. Okay, uh, the, f the first one is underwater welder simulator. Okay. Oh, wait, no, that's a video game. Sorry, that's a video game. Okay. We're looking for movies. We're looking for... Okay, uh, sorry, I had, a, I had a list of video games, too. That's okay. Um, Field of Wet Dreams? Shield of... Sorry, could you repeat the last? A Field of Wet Dreams. Okay. Wet Dreams. On Blu-ray. And did you say shield or field with an F? Field. Okay. Um, I don't even see that movie if I search it up on Google. Okay. Um, <laughs> Charlie D'Amelio. Mm -hmm. A Day in the Life. Stealing sleeping bags from homeless people. Okay. Let's see. I don't think that's going to be something that we would have, but... It's like a, there's a little squiggly line in between the D and the yeah. Amelio. Yeah. I think it's called um, an, an umlaut. And it's called Day in the Life. A day in the Life. Yeah, it's like a vlog she did. A day in the okay. life stealing homeless people's sleeping bags. Okay. Um, she was doing it to raise yeah. raise awareness for how hard it is to be an influencer. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't see anything for that. Oh, oh for two. <laughs> Darn. Okay, I have one more. All right. All right. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Okay. Mickey Mouse versus Goofy sounding session. Yeah, it was a. Uh, it's pretty rare, I think. It's they were they yeah, sound. Yeah, nothing for that one either, other. unfortunately. Oh my gosh. Also, the thing is, if they are new, I you said that they're new. Like they're new. Else. Yeah. Um. Yeah, if they're not out yet, it could just be that we don't have it in our system yet. So if you wanted to like give us a call back in a couple weeks or something, we could definitely check again for you. Oh okay. Yeah, I'll or call you back can in a couple. Check weeks. on our website to see like what it's looking like. Like, just sunriserecords.com, and you okay. can have a browse. And, or you can call us back. It's no problem. I'll have a... Yeah, I'll have a okay. browse. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Have a good day. God bless. See ya. Bye-bye. Okay, well, she was honestly kind of too nice. Me when I'm bored at work. Yo, call my girl. She just bought a... What are we doing? For the gay bathhouse video. His name is Carlos. That video flopped, by the way. All right. It's fine. I live in a constant state of disaster and, you know, <laughs> I have to go viral in order to have a stream. It's pretty exciting, honestly. Can't, can't get in a live agency because I have too many followers. Good stuff. Don't ban it. I love it. Please leave your message for... for Call a club as Kelson and say that you're... Yeah. Christy, what's a viral idea? Isn't that insane? I can't, I can't do a stream without having a viral video. 
Every imagine if somebody said you can't do your job every single day. You have to come up with a viral video uh, for baseline to just do <laughs> a stream. That's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. My I I call in somewhere. I don't understand it. It's called living in Canada. Living in Canada. They know. They know we don't have TikTok shop here. There's not enough people. Doc doesn't because Doc is in an agency and he is in. Drum roll, please. America. Okay. Actually, the fact that I'm even able to do this in America is insane. Yes, move to America. Well, Christy becomes more attached to this house every day. And uh, honestly, I've had existential crises at night, lying in bed, realizing that we probably will never move now. And uh, it is truly horrifying to me, but that's okay. That's not well, you don't want to move, right? You and I talked about having two places. We're renting this one out. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Uh, Carlos. America ain't the place. Yes, it is. Please trade with me. Give up your citizenship. I'll move here. You come to Canada and make America, make Canadian dollars. I'd love to see it. You'll be crying. You'll be crying yourself to sleep in a week. Please leave your message for four, one. You won't. You won't. You say that, but you don't get it. You don't get it. It's not good living in Canada. You guys, you guys don't actually want to live in Canada. I promise you. I, I assure you. No, you don't want to do it for the healthcare. That's ridiculous. How often do you really use healthcare? You'd be way better off just making American dollars, living in America, being able to afford a house and just pay for your hospital bills. I'm telling you. He likes to take people's money to open new businesses and fuck them over. He owns a cut. I'm going to say it right now. I would give one of my toes for, for U.S., I, I'm, I would give one of my baby toes if I, if it was possible just have a U.S. visa for me and Christy and we could just live in Austin, it would 10 X my success in one year. If we have free just healthcare, from being, then why does Alex currently owe a hospital over two grand? Tell me why. <laughs> Tell me why. If we're supposed to have free okay, okay, okay. Okay. Let's just, uh, let's move on. He likes to take people's money. Okay. I have two in the queue for you. Probably. Okay. I don't have anything here, babe. I'm sending it to you. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. It, it disgusts me. It's this kind of, it's like a, uh, my friend described it as like the rich kid who has a pool and everything and he always complains about his parents and his life. Those, those are, that's Americans. They go, I'm gonna, if Trump wins, I'm gonna move to Canada. No, you're not. You're, you would hate it. You would hate it. You would lose so much freedom and money and everything. And you become bitter and miserable. Your chance of being shot would go down. But that's a, it's, you'd be, you're still, still way better in America. Not even close, not comparable in my opinion. And have, and have Trudeau prime minister for the next fucking. Yes, you're, you're, you, should, you just asked if you were lucky to live in America. You should, you should thank heavens. Every day that you wake up in America, what type of freedoms do you not have? The fact that you're asking that is disgusting. It means you, you don't know how free you are. Come live in Canada for a bit. Live in Canada. Move here. Try it out. The taxes in Canada Kane, are worse. do the homophobic idea, please. Yeah, these are, my, these are my opinions. These are my opinions, of course. And of course, this is specific to me as a comedian. If you, um, if you work in, I don't know, forestry, and you cut Canadian trees down to sell them to this, you probably like living in Canada. Hey, what's his name? Kane? Mm-hmm. Kane. Honestly, they'd come here, they'd enjoy it for a year, and then when tax season came around, they'd want to leave. Yeah, they'd move back. <laughs> Be like, oh, go, I owe 10 grand. They go, why is there French on everything? Why does everything... I, did I go to a French store by accident? And you go, we have French on everything. 
every single object. They have Spanish on everything. No, they don't. They don't have Spanish on video games. Listen to this shit. Hey, this is an American one. The rent is... You bought an American one. The rent is insane. If you want to live in Toronto, forget it. You pay $3,000 a month for 600 square feet. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Kane. All right, well, Spanish is awesome. I don't know why. I mean, that's not a... Spanish is awesome. I have no problem with having Spanish on my video games. And also, I don't. Because I have video games that are from America, and you guys don't have Spanish on them. It says it's just English. It's just English. This. How much is a package? This is uh, number one. I don't know why it's so dusty. I'm I'm freaking out. I can't see, and I'm just constantly blinking. I thought we paid to have. It's not dust. I thought we paid to were, have this. It would be affecting me too. Oh. And then I haven't done a single call. The real life Martha from Baby Reindeer says she's planning to sue Netflix, and my phone's not working. So let me just test. Uh, let me call a business. All these people, it's not even ringing. <gasps> Melissa bought a womp womp shirt. Let's go, Alex. Let's go. In black. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Thank you for calling. The okay, it is working. I don't know what's wrong with these Hell numbers, yeah, but brother. this isn't happening for me. Let's call Kane from this number. Who gave me Kane? Are you here? Yes, Canada taxes are worse. Canada is it's brutal. It's brutal. I bet most of you guys would not like it. Some of you might like living in Canada, but most of you guys, I think you would you would really vastly prefer living in America. Hello? Hey, is this Kane? Yeah, this is him. Oh, nice, man. I just saw your uh, your post on the bulletin board. Where is 352? Where is 352? Tell me. Oh, yeah. You know, in the meetup zone at Oasis? <laughs> I'm, in, I'm interested. Yeah, you're probably getting a lot of texts and stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm just, you know, I want to I wanna meet up probably. Okay, for, for what? I don't remember doing that. You didn't put... Are you from Florida? In Gainesville? Yeah. Oh. No, not Gainesville. Okay, I'm here in Gainesville, and your number is on the bulletin board at a bathhouse. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. No, man, uh, I don't, I don't, I was probably one of my friends that lives there. Made a joke. Oh, okay, so you're not, let me just read the post. It says, my name's Kane. And just like the wrestler, I'll leave a mask on so you can treat me like your little gimp slave. You can do whatever you want to me. And what happens between the sheets stays between the sheets. Unless you want to have sex in a forest. And we could go into the wilderness and... I can't read the rest. The writing gets too small. But you live in Orlando? It's, uh, I just read... Uh, yeah. Orlando. <laughs> That's great. Pulse. Yeah. So you're not well, gay? Right, you, you have a good one, man. I'm, I'm not interested. Okay. Thanks for being so dynamic and fun over the phone. What a great reaction. Fun stuff. Thanks, Kane. Um, great. I feel like my bones look are embarrassed right now at how bad that was. Hey, look at Fresco. Uh, hey, you know, Fresco. You don't have to stream today. You know oh, that, right? I do. Why? Because I spent a lot of money at Expo. Well, you have a stream scheduled for tomorrow. I want to stream right now. Okay. Yeah, I want to. I want to be. I want to be a successful streamer. I want to have the same amount of viewers as Sue Dillon and Doc Compton, even though I'm in Canada. And I don't. I don't care. I know I'm not. I'm fucked, but it doesn't matter. It's not an excuse. No agency in Canada. I'll fucking do. Some crazy, insane viral shit that forces them to put me on the For You page. Fuck you. The queue is That's empty. what I'm saying to God. If Fuck you, you God. Does being in Canada restrict your views? If you guys want to oh, guarantee Jarrett. a call, go to the link in Alex's bio. The queue's empty. Oh, Jarrett. Being in Canada restricts your everything. 
Restricts your money, your freedom. Yes, the short answer is yes. Um, Alex, I live in Canada. Oh, oh, there you go. Well, welcome to welcome to Canada. Okay, let's move on to. She is my she is my cousin and best friend. She might be on Do Not Disturb, so maybe send it. Wait a minute. There's one in the queue, right? Mm-mm. I thought you said there was two. I thought there was. But oh, that was, was a, pay, a merch. Okay, I can't do this one then. Free call. Is Fox a true comedian, unlike you, just in the camera? Is Fox? Who, who's Fox? Saying that isn't going to help you, dude. Well, don't push your beliefs on me. I'm not saying you have to not believe in God. You're getting mad at me for what I say. So do we have to be Christian? Is that, is that how it goes? Do I have to be Christian now? I didn't put a non-Christian emoji in my fucking username. So fuck off. She is my cousin and my best friend. She might be on Do Not Disturb, so maybe send a message or call twice. And yet, you fucking Christians are so insecure about their faith. It's unbelievable. No, no one else. I've never had a Buddhist go, I don't believe in the Buddha. And they go, okay, fine. They don't go, oh my God. It's because deep down there, they have doubts. They have doubts. So they're projecting, they're think- trying to bend you to have more faith because they don't have enough. You're insecure. You know unfollowed that you, kiss. yeah, that means a Buddhist would never say that they would go, they never go unfollowed kiss. You're going unfollow and you will unfollow, but then tonight you're going to be lying in bed and you're going to go, I don't know. He was, maybe he was right. No, he wasn't right. He was, he was right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm in TTJ. Remind me to, to, to do. I mean, what are we, we well, what I are, also aren't. I'm not a Christian. Maybe this is just speculation, but yeah. aren't they like told to like kind of recruit people to like preach their faith to other people who are not? Believers? I think that's yeah. I mean, I think that's all all religion on some level. I don't know. I've been very annoyed by religion lately, and I went to this r- funeral the other day, and it was Catholic, and it just really reminded me how annoyed I am at organized religion. It's just. It's just ass. It was the worst public speaker I've ever seen in my life. This guy's a fucking, he couldn't, he couldn't even public speak. And he's, a, he's a speaker of God. It sucked. No stories from the person's life. No, nothing. No celebration of life. Just you guys need to be Catholic or you're going to hell. Drop religion talk. Drop D's into your mouth. I'll talk about whatever I want. It's my stream. You should prank call him. You can have a relationship with God without a church. Yeah, I believe that. Whatever, I mean, what is that? The washing Oh, okay. Cool, cool. My, okay, what was I going to do? Okay, she's my cousin and my best friend. She might be on Do Not Disturb, so maybe send a message or call twice. Why are you laughing? Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Hello. Hello. Is this Cheyenne? Who are you? Oh, this is Mark from Christchurch Cathedral. I'm just doing some scheduled calls. Huh? Have you heard? Have you heard his word of our light, light and Lord and Savior? What? Have you heard about fucking Jesus? So Jesus died for your sins, and if you don't, if you don't obey us, you're going to burn forever. <laughs> Bro, why are you? <laughs> Do you know who that is? No. <laughs> who is that bitch in the back? Who is that woman? In- Hello. This is her mother. Who okay. Is it? Okay. Could you please step? Is this Cheyenne? I'm trying to speak to Cheyenne. Hey, he'll get beat the fuck up, dude. Hang up on his stupid ass. Hey, let me talk to that stupid gay guy. Hello? What? Hello? Hang the fuck up. If you hang up, you're going to hell. I'll just fucking talk to the whole family. <laughs> okay, there's people in the queue now. Okay. Now, you know what? Now I'm having fun. 
If you talk about Jesus in a negative way again, I'm leaving. This is your last warning. Okay, Jesus is HIV positive. <laughs> Not negative. <laughs> but he's taking pills for it. He's, he's managing it well. Um, her, her name is Grace. That's ironic. Call her pretending to be the friend of a guy named Stephen. Stephen goes by FEC and tell her that Stephen has herpes. Yeah. I read that in the book of Job. Jesus was a, was a fucking twink. <laughs> he went to a foam party in <coughs> Jerusalem and, oh, did they use him like a sleeve? <coughs> Respectfully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lucifer has joined the chat. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. That Europa conservative guy stinks. I've seen him in the chat before. Oh, God forbid we don't have Europa conservative on our comedy stream. I'm sure that guy's great at parties. Um, did you know that statistically speaking, shut up. We're eating fondue, you fucking bitch. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. I don't know. Okay, I don't know what this looks like if you're watching the replay. This is... I need to figure out how to start doing this so that it still makes sense. Replay. Wouldn't be at any parties with you, Lib. I'm not a Lib. That's so insecure. You just call people that you're... I'm not a liberal. <laughs> Are you doing the Discord calls? And yeah, you wouldn't be at my party. You're, you would never be here. Look how cool our house is. You would never be in this cozy sunroom with creative, talented people. You stink. I would never hang out with you. Ever. Ever. <laughs> you'll, do, you'll bring me fucking steep tea from Tim Hortons. And you'll leave it on the front door. No contact. Option chosen. My ex just recently... Okay, what are we doing? I sent them to you. Okay, so we'll wait to hear back from Grace and then you'll do this, the next one. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look so insane when people watch the replay. I'm just arguing with nobody. I love you. You have full creative control against my ex that led me on at Soul and stole my money for six years. And in the end, used my money to propose to someone else Holy shit, his name is John and his fiance's name is, is Madeline. Oh my God, this is a good one. Okay. Well, 